your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm there All right, guys. So Louisville Sports Card Show went there early. Didn't spend much time there. Uh, just due to the fact having a really busy weekend. I had to be back. Get stuff situated for what? Not at three. Then we got the good old Royal Rumble coming on tonight. Got to get the car packed up for Plainsfield, Indiana show tomorrow. But I will say this, uh, from the three deal, wait, one, two, yeah, three dealers that I did buy from. They gave me some good deals out there. Really happy with that. Uh, I'll give you guys some odds and ends here right after I show you guys what I got today. So first off the bat, I believe her name was Misty. I always forget her name, and I'm sorry if it's completely wrong. But uh, she works for the Salem uh, Sports Card Show up there. And I picked up two cards. So first one, just because we're going up to Plainsfield, hopefully you can move an Andrew Luck rookie auto. Let me see if I can get the camera to refocus here. Oh, we'll go like this. So Andrew Luck rookie auto. I can't remember if this is numbered. Oh, it is. Out of $3.99. So this came from just this Panini. I forget the brand. It's probably wrote on here, and I'm just being a fool. I, I can't remember if this is Majestic or what the M stood for from back then. I'll have to really look and dig into that. And then, the only one at the show, Kenny Pickett Mosaic Scripts Rookie Auto. Got one. No other Pickett. It, it, I mean, honestly, I think he just barely stayed on the sticker there, but it's, I'm not going to grade it with the auto, but very, 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 very happy to get this and find it. Like, it was the first table walking in, I see it, I'm like, oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> not even going to even try to haggle for the price. I've been trying to win one, couldn't do it. So, next table I went to, I always try to buy from a couple different dealers out there. A lot of guys I know drive from Nashville. Sometimes you have crappy shows, and trust me, I understand because you gotta get hotels or involved travel time and all that. So I try to always buy some stuff from there. Guys, I know the travel a good distance. So Luca, NBA Hoop Spark Plugs. This is all real cheap stuff. And then two hockey cards, Suzuki, Electromagnetic from Upper Deck, and a Cole Caulfield rookie class rookie. I mean, these might go get graded if they look good at $19. Luca will be a whatnot card for uh later on today. So and I picked up a Gainwell. Everybody's all fly, Eagles fly. So we'll see how this does. Kenneth Gainwell, rookie. This is the turn of the century from a lead out of 99. Looks pretty good. I mean, if it don't sell, I might just SGC the thing. Add a little bit of value to it. All right, last deal. Man, was this a deal. I'm going to make sure I have these cards put together first the way I want them. Yep, I do. All right. So I left the stickers of what they're out of, so I don't have to sit there and look at it. But uh, I'll be honest, the guy with his boxes, he told me the prices are probably over. He didn't reprice that stuff. And I understand that because if you're repricing your showcases, then you get to your boxes, you're like, crap, this sucks. So I came up with a value of what the average sales were or the sale was on the cards. And he gave me a heck of a deal, guys. Heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. Very happy for all this. So first up, Obsidian. Everybody knows I like Obsidian. It's just cool to say and looks good. So this is now 99, Trey Young. I mean, it's nothing crazy. These are like, I think, $20 cards or something like that. But it looked pretty good overall. Uh, just, you know, eyeballing except for the back centering onto it. But the front's usually what's key with PSA. Looked pretty decent. So picked it up. I still believe Trey Young's one of the most unappreciated basketball players out there right now. 
And hopefully, uh, Mark Cuban, get him to Dallas, please. All right, up next, another Gainwell. This is out of Phoenix. I don't know, orange, bronze, something. It's out of 25, though. Let me try to get the focus back. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. There we go. Out of 25, so another whatnot piece that'll go out there. We'll see what it does. I don't remember the price on these. They're, they're relatively cheap. I remember that. I think the one out of, like, it was higher, did something. A higher number one did, like, the price he asked me for this. So I just took it. But anyone, everybody's favorite, they go spend, you know, $800 to $1,000 a box, and you pull an Elijah Moore rookie card. <laughs> I think when I looked this up, it was, like, a $20, $30 card at the most. So I picked it up. I'm like, what the heck? You know, Panini One, very expensive product. Elijah Moore. Yep. You know, I know a lot of people aren't favored with them. Everybody hates the Jets, but hey, somebody out there will want Elijah Moore. And plus, I didn't have to pay that money and open that box up. Definitely picking it up. Up next, another Obsidian. Go figure. Obsidian Day. Welcome to Obsidian. And the last one will end up with a nice Obsidian. So Evan Mobley, this is from the rookie year, pitch black. Figured what the heck. Let's grab it on up. I know from left to right here as I'm looking at it's off center and stuff like that there, up and down, but never go wrong with picking up Mobley. I think he's going to be a beast down the road. Just my personal opinion. Do not listen to my personal opinions in basketball because the only one I was ever right with was Luka over the past, like, six years. So... All right, up next, Crown Royale, DeAndre Swift. This is the rookie silhouette. I mean, for Detroit, this dude does score a lot. I try to always pick him up late in the fantasy draft, so grab this. I think this is another card that only does like 20, 30 bucks. I mean, he gets a hype game up there one day, boom, maybe it's a 40, 50 dollar card. I don't know. But I just know how hard these are to hit on to it. It didn't have a whole lot of chipping, as you guys could see, where the blue is on here, which was I was really, really happy with. And I figured, what the heck? You know, it's in really good shape. Let's grab her. This is the one I wanted the most out of it all. Everybody knows I've been trying to find more Polistic Autos. I know he's not, like, the greatest player. He's had decline, but this here is just a sick patch. These patches are busting out. Out of 10, Polistic from Obsidian. From the sticker price, he dropped a good chunk down for me. And then when I really thought about it, I mean, getting all these other ones was just a lot of gravy on top. But I mean, I'm telling you, the patches are sticking out of this thing. It's disgusting. There's the back of it out of 10. It is 2021 Obsidian. Or I'm sorry, 2122 Obsidian. The only thing that sucks is it says it's not associated with a specific player, game, or event. So who knows whose it is. It could be, you know, somebody else's material. But it still looks really, really good. Um, little off-centering left to right on it when I looked at it. But, you know, if I would back it and got a 9, 5, 10 on it, it would be really, really good for me. So pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff out of the card show. All right. I guess I should put something on the stand so you guys aren't looking at my whatnot mess that's going to be going on later on today. So you guys can look at Polisic and Swift, if they all fit. Swift ain't going to fit there, so we'll go like that. All right. Something like that there, huh? Or maybe not. Maybe you just get to look at Polisic. All right. So... Uh, overall, walking through, uh, a lot of the same people with the same cards there that I've seen, like, uh, a month ago. So, a lot of that stuff I just bypassed, because I see the same thing. I still see a lot of the retail stuff out there, don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of people gotta make their ends meet some which way out there, so on to it. I saw some vintage out there, but my goodness, the pricing range onto it was horrific. Uh, as soon as I look at a couple and I see them over, and especially if it's your display stuff, I just keep walking away. I got it if it's in your value boxes and you just never took your stickers off, I'll ask. But once in your displays, I would expect you to have updated prices unless you're hosting like 10 tables of displays that I kind of get. Again, stuff might not be completely accurate. Oh, let's see here. Crowd-wise, it was pretty good at what I was leaving there about... Ooh, I thought, I thought I left there before 11, about 10.40. I only spent about an hour and a half in there total bouncing around, talking to people and stuff. But overall, I mean, 
I found some deals there, so I was really happy with that. I seen a lot of high end stuff. Some of the stuff I got on camera. I went back around at the end guys to get some more pictures of stuff, but it was just so crowded and trying to, you know, weave through people and trying to get stuff while they're trying to look and make deals. I probably should have got more footage at the beginning, but I was trying to hurry up, get in there and look to see if I could find any more picket uh Steeler uniform autos. But first one, first table, and I joked around and said, ah, I'm done. <laughs> you know, found it, I'm out. <laughs> But I still did go around at the end, just take a look, see what everybody else had. Did find a couple of nice deals in there. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I know a lot of people say shows are dead, shows are alive. I think it's, you know, what people make of it. Each dealer's part of that show. So how they are in there, how what their inventory is, their pricing all makes or breaks shows across the board. But really happy. I mean, I know, I believe this guy was somewhere out in Nashville. I picked all this stuff up from... The other one in Indiana, and I can't remember where the other guy said he was from. But Plainsfield, Indiana. Are you ready? We're coming there next. You guys will see the video way after I get up there, though. So I hope we find some deals up there, some more stuff. Other than that, I got a whole mess to clean up here before I go live on whatnot in like two and a half hours under that. Um, I'm out, guys. I appreciate you all watching the video. Stay tuned for Plainsville. Be a lot more video there because Chad gets to watch part of my table. <laughs> See y'all.